I'm Kay and I'm a late bloomer. I'm not a big DIY gal and I never do do-it-yourself episodes, but setting up my third and fourth rain barrels this week turned into quite an operation and I thought you might find it entertaining. Okay, we are right in the middle of our first big rain event. It's January 5th. And every vessel that I have is full. That's full, that's full, that's full, that's full. <laughs> this is full. And uh, as you can see, this is gonna be full in about 20 seconds. After a great deal of consideration and hitting up a few home improvement stores for advice, I thought I had a perfect plan. I would level the sloping driveway with a thin layer of concrete and then build a platform with pilasters and cap it off with two 24 by 24 inch concrete stepping stones side by side. The barrels are 21 inches in diameter at the top, so I thought that would look really nice. I had to elevate the barrels to be able to put a watering can under the spouts. Buying concrete at the store is no problem. They load it in your car. But when you get home, it's a different story. Okay. That would be my first challenge. I pulled out our vintage hand truck and got to work. I thought the concrete blocks were heavy till I tried the stepping stones. Okay, now for the hard part. I don't know that I can lift these. Oh man, it's gotta be 60 pounds. No, they were 95 pounds each. I'd never worked with concrete and felt a little intimidated, so I brought in my occasional helper, Eric, after he finished work one afternoon. He poured two 60-pound bags worth of concrete. It was getting late when he finished. It looked good in the dark. <laughs> this is what happened. Uh, my friend Eric poured the concrete with rocks night before last, and when I came out yesterday to set up my rain barrels, uh, it, I saw that it wasn't level. It wasn't even close. So I thought, well, I've got this one box of cementol and I'll level it out myself. <laughs> anyway, I went and bought another 10 pounds and I am going to attempt to get this a little bit more level.
had to prop up a concrete block with leftover shower tiles. All right, let's do this. The reveal of I knew that section of downspout was not aluminum, but for some strange reason, I believed it was copper, which is crazy because you don't paint copper. I'd ordered a rain barrel diverter kit I'd seen on One Yard Revolution YouTube channel, so I wouldn't have to chop off the gutter and then have overflow spilling over the top like happens on my other setup. Oh dear. With a diverter, when the barrels are full, water backs up in the line and goes down the gutter. The drill bit in the diverter kit had a 3 8 inch stem, and our 30-year-old drill would not accommodate it. I had to buy a new drill. This is where experience with power tools comes in handy. I had the drill bit in reverse, and the bit flew off. <laughs> wow! But that was cutting through recycled plastic. Okay. Now for the real test, cutting the gutter. I was assured at the hardware store the special bit with the diverter kit would cut through copper like butter. What an ordeal! The bit would simply not cut into the metal. In fact, the metal was wearing down the bit. By this time, I knew it wasn't copper. That is incredible! I think I would bend it in sooner than I would cut it. Raindrops were coming down and the sun was going down and I was not going back to the store. I was ready to saw a hole in the metal with my teeth. The only thing I could think of was to drill small holes around the circle and cut out a crude hole with tin snips. There was no turning back now. But I was pooped and working under an umbrella and the light was fading. I'm annoyed at the drill and the bit. And these are rusted and they're doing better than the power drill. Eric came to my rescue again with his grinding stone and helped me finish the job. It should be tight. You may need some more, yeah. Or whatever you want. Wow. <laughs> Give me five. Give me five. <laughs> I had searched in vain at several stores for a short piece of flexible tubing to connect the two barrels. We finally decided to use one end of tubing that came with the barrel and cut it to fit. Well, there's one thing about it, once you get it on there, it's not going to be leaking. Yeah. We clamped the proper end on and wired the other. But I didn't have any galvanized wire, huh. so we covered it with waterproof tape which I considered to be a temporary measure till I found something better. At long last, the project was complete. I sent Eric up to clean the gutters and install gutter guards near the downspout to keep the bamboo leaves from clogging the diverter. For 35 years, the runoff from these two stories went down the driveway 
and ultimately out into the ocean where all that fresh rainwater turned to salt. Now I would be able to capture a few of those gallons for my garden. Yay! <laughs> Let's just see if I know there's water in there. Ah! <laughs> nice. What did I learn? Leave power tools, heavy lifting, and pouring concrete to the professionals. I'll stick to the design. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, please give me a thumbs up and share with a friend. I'm Kay, I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. <laughs> now I just have to wait for it to rain. Not a cloud in the sky.